Hello, guys. Hey, how are you? Good, thanks. Yeah. Good to see you. Um, so, you know, in terms of making this film, it's it's got such a great atmospheric mood. It's you know, it starts from the, the very moment with the music, the beginning, and everything through. Uh, in terms of making it, what was it like acting in it, and what was it like actually building that that mood? So, give our director the first one. Then. Yeah, um, making this movie was very much a dream. Dream comes true for me as a director because. Uh, I fell in love with the gothic ghost story genre when I saw uh, The Innocence, the 1966 classic, black and white classic. Right. And uh, ever since I saw that, I was really enamored with that genre and I really wanted to make one. So when, uh, when this script came my way, um, it was really felt like a, a golden opportunity. And uh, creating that world, was, uh, it was a real pleasure. Um, we were fortunate that we found that house and that house kind of kind of is the heart of the film and right. it very much captured what the what was reflected in the script but uh the process of of shooting it was uh was fantastic because i had terrific uh main cast and then a crew who are really behind the beautiful script mm -hmm. so um the process regardless of the challenges was a real pleasure right. i think what i the, the script was very you know it, it, very well realized and uh, a huge amount of what the cast needed was on the page but I suppose what I brought to it on a daily basis was uh, I, I could give them the background of the country at the time with the you know the, the right. political situation that was informing certainly his character right. and, and then how that was impacting on the twins uh, but also because I had gone to great lengths to storyboard the entire film mm -hmm. every single scene in it uh, I had thought, thought every scene through in great detail in my head, so I had my own preconceived notions. Now I don't ever come to a film and impose those on, a, on an actor because right. the actor, you hire an actor because they're going to become that character. So I'm all, I always want to hear what they have to say first and every morning on the shoot I would ask them to show me what they had in mind. Mm -hmm. And then we could mould and manipulate, but because I'd done all that prep I had a very clear idea in my head each day what each scene was about and I think that was was helpful to the cast, you mm -hmm. know, it, it, just to get into the space that beyond, you know, what what they felt it was about to get a sense what I felt I was trying to achieve with it. Mm -hmm. Did you? This goes for both of you. Did you find the the house creepy? Is it actually as creepy as it seems? The house Loftus Hall is an extraordinary building. I mean, I stepped onto that set for my first day on shooting the lodgers, and the this feeling in this house of kind of the the the, the serenity that you feel when you walk into it, and at the same time the sense of foreboding and. Uh, I think a, a very supernatural buzz to it. The atmosphere does change very, very distinctly when you walk in. There is a depth to it. There's an emotional uh, ongoing in that in that house that um, is 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 you know, you know it really indicates just how how long standing it's how far back its history does go. Six hundred and sixty six years was uh, was the, the 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 length of time that it had been standing when we had just started filming. So you know, which is even more. 666 if you're a satanic believer so you know it was even more interesting it isn't exactly no it was extraordinary um, and it made for um, a very helpful process to arrive and see that enormous gothic staircase you know and see that aspect of this film being so real you know what it is about the lodges that makes it so unique is this a bit is the is the fine attention to its to detail to its style and Brian was Brian was was really really helpful in bringing that to life when we were when we were stepping on set, he was um, he he had everything very clearly in his mind, and it helped a lot. Yeah, I mean, as someone who's obsessed with all genres, including science fiction, the idea of time travel has always appealed to me hugely. So I would say that house is probably the only time in my life where I felt like an experience of travelling back through time, the moment you step across that threshold, you do actually feel like you've stepped into the past because there's nothing around you that belongs in the present day. Right. Bar the odd fire or smoke alarm that they have to have fit, there's nothing else about it. There's nothing in there that belongs in our in this century or the last century. It's all even older than that. So it's a remarkable experience. And every floorboard in the house, you know, every crack on the wall, you know that generations of families have tread these floorboards, slept right. in these rooms, and you can really can't feel that sort of sense of that. So whilst the experience isn't necessarily a creepy one, it's eerily strange that you can feel around you the uh, a sense of the of the generations who've lived in this house. It's almost like that weight of history is this. It really, you can actually around. feel it in it because... You really can. Yeah, because you know you buy a house, a period residence, 
you paint it, you do it up, you sand the floorboards, you get rid of a lot of the what right. because this hasn't been done. So actually yeah. it's exactly the same, it's yeah. just aged. So that's quite fascinating. fascinating. Yeah. Incredibly authentic. Yeah. Well, last thing I'd like to know is did you did you prep watching Gothic Gothic <laughs> stuff? Like this there's not a lot now. There hasn't been in the last no. few years. It really is classic stuff. Yeah. Did you go back either of you to, to get a Yeah, well I certainly did. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean I can tell you the movies that I went back to. So The Innocence is an obvious one, you yeah. know, because that's the, the great movie I think of the of the Gothic Ghost story. And then you've more contemporary films like the others. You know, mm. so what I then think is very important when you're making a genre movie, particularly in horror, is is you shouldn't draw all of your influence from the horror genre because I think then you make a movie that feels just like one of something else. So mm. I always look for an influence beyond it as much as I can. So another film that um, uh, was an influence in some ways, still the genre was The Hunger, the uh, right. Tony Scott movie, yeah. which is the very dark sexual relationship that's going on in there and an awful lot of shooting into mirrors in that film mm -hmm. which I did a lot of uh, in the lodgers and that was inspired by that but the other film and a very unusual reference for it was the Duke of Burgundy oh, yeah yes. so right. that was a that was a, a reference for me and I felt it was very important uh, to have something that was really outside the mm -hmm. the boundaries of the genre I was working in and that became a, a great reference in terms of tone sound design and just be creating an atmosphere that felt un very uncomfortable and slightly unnatural. Mm. That's cool. Did you end up watching anything about This man has said as much, it's spent more than I could possibly, but I think at the time when I was, when I got the part I was happened to, a different, slightly different genre, I was reading Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, a very gothic wow. element to it, but much more urban in nature. And I was recommended having then, uh, then Skyped with Brian to go and watch The Innocence, which I in turn did, and I can see where a lot of the, I can see much of the, some of the, some of the, the atmosphere in that film is, 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 is relative. But I, I have to be honest with you, there were, um, there was part of me when I discovered David Turpin's writing in this film that I didn't, uh, that I hadn't, I, hadn't, I hadn't encountered something like this before. Um, I really hadn't. I, I was trying to relate to other films that I'd seen, other scripts that I'd read, horror films I've come across. I couldn't relate it. The, 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 the somewhat formulaic attitude of when is the next scare going to come? You know, when are you going to get them next? Was, was, was beautifully um, not as forced into this as sometimes it can be this was much more about i think you referenced the you know witch the film the witch which yeah, was right. filmed not too far from here you know i watched that and the it's dread the whole way through you know it, they really give you the atmosphere the whole time it's not sequenced down to a specific moment that you know it's going to come mm -hmm. so it was the witch was probably a good influence and you know maybe dr jekyll and mr hyde just to make me feel the beginning essence of, of right. gothic great well thank you guys so much appreciate it thank, thank you, you. thanks man. Thank you.